Good morning, everybody. Blaine Austin here with Sewing Machines Plus, and welcome to our SMP Live show on Thursday. And we are so happy that y'all are here. And uh, guys, we've got a, another great show for you today. We've got Deb Donovan going to be in the house, and Deb is actually going to be showing the Brother SE1900 today. And uh, we love this machine, and we've got a great special on it today. Uh, but before we get into all that, I got to say a big shout out to some of our our folks watching today. And uh, but before I say even say the shout out, I got to say, guys, we were really thinking about everybody down in Florida. Uh, you know, a lot of our customers down there are getting hit with that hurricane, and I hope that everybody's safe. Uh, I know there's a lot of flooding going on and a lot of the wind damage, and and I have some friends in Florida too that that have had to deal with that. So. Uh, we, we hope that, uh, you know, our, our thoughts and prayers are with everybody down there. And so hopefully y'all will make it through all that good and not get too much damage. But, uh, me being from, uh, you know, I actually lived in Florida for a while and a long time in Louisiana, I, I was used to those hurricanes and they're no fun. I can tell you that. So, um, so anyway, guys, we are, are super excited about the, the show today. And I wanted to make another announcement too, uh, you know, we were trying to do shows every single day of the week, uh, and it's just gotten so hard to get guests to come on. You know, when you having to try to fill five spots a week with guests and and educational content, it was putting a strain on on the other shows. So, you know, we made the decision. Uh, Kennedy and Kyle and, and Roger and I talked about it, and we said, you know, we think the best thing that we could do is maybe cut it down to two shows a week and have our Thursday show with me. Kennedy will be hosting the, the Takeover Tuesday and really concentrate on getting some really good content with really good guests. And uh, we hope you've enjoyed what we were trying to do, but it just, it was too much for us uh, at this point in time. And uh, so we, uh, when it takes off, we'll do yeah, I mean, if, you know, if, it, if we continue to grow and keep doing, we may have to hire a few people and uh, to help us run the shows because it's a, it's a lot, you know, because this is kind of a, you know, we have to do our other duties that, you know, besides these. And, and so it, it takes up a lot of time, but uh, so we hope you understand and, and uh, hopefully that y'all can feel the, you know, come in and, and fill up the, the Tuesday and Thursday shows with us and, and have some fun. So before we get too in there, I got to say a big shout out to watching today for uh, Gary in New Mexico. What? Hang on. We're going to switch over to me. Got to replace your batteries. Good morning, everyone. Come on over. <laughs> I'm yeah. switching Blaine's batteries real quick. Hi, everybody. <laughs> he can't hear you. But, yes, we love doing the shows. We love them so much. But we want to grow, and we want to also get into other social media as well. So, okay, Blaine, I think you're back. So let's. All right. Good. Okay, yes. Thank you all for watching all the shows. I appreciate you all so much. And don't worry, this is all a decision that we all came up with on our own. But thank you so much for your continued support. All right, back to you, Blaine. <laughs> so they couldn't hear me the whole time? No, just for a couple seconds. Oh, okay. Just for a couple seconds. All right, so I'm glad I don't have to talk all over again. You're good. You're good. <laughs> all right, so a little technical difficulties this morning. Hey, I got to say a big shout out to Barbara Gary. She's watching New Mexico. We got Norma Coffin here locally in San Marcos, California, watching. Uh, Pamela Mason, she's watching in Arkansas, my old stomping grounds. That's where I grew up, was in Arkansas, and my family's still there. Uh, I don't know, where's my mom's watching today? If Marietta's watching. Hi, Marietta. So, hi, Marietta, if you're watching. <laughs> uh, we have uh, Debbie Shaw is in open Ohio. Robin uh, Sh uh, Shriver? Shriver? Yes. Shriver? Shriver, I believe. Shriver, I think, in Maryland. And then we have Lynn uh, Thacker, it is, in Kentucky, right? Kentucky. Kentucky. Yes. So welcome to the show, guys. Thank you all for watching, and we sure do appreciate it. And hopefully, if you're new, guys, if this is the first time you ever watch your show, welcome to our show, uh, the SMP Nation. There's a big group of y'all out there. They're going to make you feel really welcome. And uh, so thank you all for joining in. We hope that you'll stick around. And hey, if you haven't done so yet and you haven't liked our Facebook page, go like it right now. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, go subscribe to it. And what that'll do, that'll actually get you, every time we do new content, you'll get notified. You'll know what's going on. And then, hey, we would love for you to share the video uh, after the show's over today. Share it to your pages. Uh, and what that'll do, too, that'll actually give you chances to win uh, prizes that we give away every every show. So 
And then today, just by asking questions or making comments, you'll have a chance to win. So, but anyway, we always want you to say like, share, comment, and subscribe. So if you can do those four things, it always helps you, uh, you know, uh, get content. I mean, uh, chances to win. So uh, anyway, guys, we are, uh, man, we are already started working on our next events. Uh, you know, we've got uh, the Scanicut University coming up in October. And guess what? It is completely sold out. Uh, we can't take any more signups there because it is just so popular, uh, sold out. And they're actually in the process of shipping you your kits right now so you can do all your projects. Uh, so that's coming up, uh, I think, in two weeks, right, Kennedy? The, yes. Uh, 13th through the 15th. Yes. Is that two weeks away? Two? Yeah, just about. Just about a week and a half or whatever yes. it is. I don't even remember what, where, when it is. I mean, the date it is today. <laughs> but uh, I think we're getting ready to hit October. Um, so uh, anyway, and as you all know, I was on vacation last week. I went to on a cruise to Mexico, and I really do appreciate Kennedy stepped in and, and, and filled in for me. But I got to show you all a couple pictures. This is funny. So, you know, you go, we went on a cruise and on those ships, they always got to take your picture. So me and Michelle, my wife, we had our picture made and y'all can see the picture there. They, they do it. Well, the next night we were walking around and, and the, all these photographers, they always want to do those cheesy, you know, uh, scenes where you're putting your head and all this and all this stuff. And, you know, give her a kiss on the cheek like you're in a, like at prom. prom. Yeah. So I, <laughs> they were doing it. And the guy was telling me some crazy pose. And I was like, I'm not doing it. And I busted out laughing. Well, he took a picture of me after me, you know, trying not to do this pose. I wanted to be a normal pose. And so I was like, well, that's probably one of the better pictures we took. Candid. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty candid. So we bought that picture. So I had a great time at, uh, in uh, Mexico and, and saw some wonderful shows and things that we went to and just a great time. And it was good R and R right after so fest, mm -hmm. I had a little, little break and, but Kennedy stepped in and, and, and handled the show for me. So I appreciate I did that. Justice. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, we guys, again, we've got, uh, so right after, uh, you know, we got the scanning cut university going on, uh, in, uh, in November, November the 28th, y'all mark this date down because that's going to be our cyber Monday show. And we are going to have some really, really good specials and we're going to have, pretty much demonstrations every 15 minutes the whole day. I mean, it's going to be a fast pace a day and it's going to be really probably, I think it's 30 presentations, 30 different machines and things that we're going to highlight. We got some brand new product that's going to be coming. It's going to be the first time you've ever seen that product. Uh, so that'll be on the show. We've got a lot of, a lot of cool things going on. Uh, and then on December the 12th through the 16th, we have a countdown to Christmas. And that, again, is going to be a week-long show that will stream seven and a half hours a day. And we are going to have some really good specials on that show as well. Uh, we've got some surprises for you probably. And uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. And we'll have a lot of really cool guests coming on as well. So you want to make sure you mark that down on your calendars as well. So that's what's going on. And that'll kind of close out our year. And then uh, we're already planning for 2023. Uh, and hopefully we'll have some really good content for you then. And you know, we've already, we'll, I'm sure in January, I'll already be working on a uh, sofa, I mean, a quilt fest, because it'll be in March. So time is flying by. So mm -hmm. we're having a lot of fun. So and also, just a disclaimer, we are still having Callista on to finish up our thread series tomorrow. So yeah, we'll sure. have her on. Yep. But then after that, we'll be back to two shows. Yep. Callista will be on tomorrow for the thread series. And man, she has been a huge hit. If y'all haven't got a chance to see her yet, y'all need to make sure you tune in tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. And uh, Callista will be on with Kennedy. And again, she is probably the most knowledgeable thread person I've ever met. And uh, it's been a really great series, hasn't it, Kennedy? Yes. Oh, my gosh. So, we love Callista. So, and I don't even know if I said good morning. Y'all said good morning to, to uh, Kennedy yes, and Kyle. I know we had the little thing. Little so Kennedy is here in the house. Kyle, Big Daddy Kyle's here. So jump over there, Kyle. Say hello. Mm -hmm. Kyle's here. And uh, Roger's at the San Marco store. So y'all will have to say hi to Roger once they go on air because he's he's over there with Deb and uh, they got the cameras all ready to go over there and the machine all fired up. And so I think we just need to go. But first, I'm going to tell you about the machine today. So guys, today, the machine we're talking about is the Brother SE1900. And it is a great, great machine. And this thing is $1,099. So this is a sewing and embroidery machine. But today we've got a great bundle that we're going to put with it. So if you've been interested in a, getting a combo machine, a sewing and embroidery, 
this will be a great opportunity for you today. So, Kennedy, if you could put that overlay up there, we're going to show you right there. We've got a bonus bundle, guys. You can get the bonus bundle. So that bundle, you're getting that Riley uh, Blake bag, and there's that's one of three. So they have little unique sayings on those. And you're getting the five, 15 spools of the most popular exquisite thread that comes in the bag. And you're also going to get that medium brother uh, blue sewing mat, the SMP mat. You're going to get that as well for 99 cents. So you'll be able to purchase that bonus bundle for 99 cents with the purchase of the machine. So great special day. Guys, you don't even have to call in. You can go right to the website and put it in your cart and check out. Or if you do want to call and ask some questions about it, give us a call at 800-401-8151. Nick's team is standing by over there uh, to take your calls. And then if you're on that product page and have some questions, we have live chat agents on the, on the chat too that can actually answer your questions as well. So great special to start the show out today. Uh, you know, this is a really good bundle. And Kyle, what was the, do uh, you remember what the retail price on that bundle, bonus bundle was? I can't remember right off the top of my head, but it, it's it's a substantial amount. You're, good. Yeah, you're getting for less than a dollar. I mean, 99. 99. Yeah. Well, I mean, what was the... Each spool is like 5 So the spools, yeah, are, are almost $6 a spool times 15 the mat, the mat's fifty dollars plus the bag, and I, I can't remember exactly the retail on that, but it's it's a really good uh, bonus bundle for y'all today at ninety nine cents for that bonus bundle with the purchase of the machine. So if y'all been in the market for one for one of these brother machines, this is a such a good machine, and I think many of y'all out there, I know some of y'all have to have that SE nineteen hundred already. So if you do, just chime in and let everybody know how much you're loving that machine because. I tell you what, uh, Candace and Deb have used this machine a lot, and they absolutely love this machine. And, uh, you know, I was talking to Angela Wolf uh, not too long about it. It's $150. So it's about $150 bonus bundle you're getting for $0.99 cents, uh, with the purchase. But I was talking to Angela about this machine, and, you know, she was talking about just how much quality is built into this machine for a very low price. You're getting some very high-end you know, technology built into this thing. But, hey, guys, we're going to go ahead and let's go to the San Marco store and welcome uh, Deb Donovan to the show. And I think Deb's going to start out today. We're going to show you all the embroidery features that this 1900 has. So Deb, welcome to the show. Hey, good morning, Blaine. I don't hear you, Deb. Okay. Maybe, do I? Uh, Hang on, maybe it's my volume. I got her now. I'm not hearing you very well, though. Yeah, I don't hear. Her. So they got an audio part problem. Let's see if we can get that fixed, Roger. Uh, I didn't hear Deb at all. So uh, anyway, we're going to talk a little bit. So if you put that overlay back up there, Kennedy, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the features of this machine. So y'all, one of the things I love about this too, it is such a good looking machine. I mean, you know, brother, all their machines look, they usually make them really look good. But man, this one too is just packed full of features. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about it. So again, you know, it's going to have that accessory storage built right on the machine. It has that adjustable pressure foot uh, pressure that you can, so you can adjust the pressure on that pressure foot. Uh, you can, it has the adjustable screen brightness, has built-in languages. So that would come in handy if you go to that. Mexico yeah. and you speak Spanish. <laughs> Because I was just there. Maybe French? Who knows? It does French. Oh, my goodness. So it does a lot of different languages. It has the LCD uh, screen, a really nice screen on it. And it's a 3 by one in, uh, 1.6 inch size. Has the LED lighting under it to light up your surface, your work surface. Has that memory card reader. So if you have designs on a memory card, you can just slide that card right in. Has the uh, needle plate measurements on it. It has the needle position key where you can go up and down, uh, the pressure foot leveling, quick set bobbin, screen saver, specialty feet included. And Deb's going to show you all the feet. It comes with seven feet. Yes. And she, we, Deb mounted them on a board for y'all this morning so y'all can see the feet all at the same time and see how many they are. Uh, that's a really nice accessory pack with this. It has that start uh, stop button. It has that upper thread sensor and bobbin sensor. It is uh, the UL and uh, CSA listed, uh, so it's approved. Uh, and the, the machine is 13 uh, inches tall. It's 23 inches wide by 11 inches deep. So it's a, 
It's a medium sized machine. It's not one of those little small, uh, tiny ones, but it's not these big, huge ones either. It's a really good machine that you're getting here and it only weighs 22 pounds. So at 22 pounds, it's extremely easy to carry and move around. It has that adjustable uh, design icon setting, uh, size setting, automatic feed thread cutting, six built-in alphabet, alphabet fonts, 138 built-in designs in this, in this machine. Uh, you can do drop and drag editing. It has that speed adjustment, uh, trial position, layout function, five built-in lettering and sewing fonts, 240 built-in stitch selections on the sewing side of the house, 10 buttonhole styles, it has the knee lifter that comes in. It's going to do 850 stitches per minute, which is really, really good. And it does sideways sewing, which is awesome. Uh, it has that quick reference stitch guide. Uh, you have the speed control. It does a stitch length of five millimeters and a maximum stitch width of seven millimeters. And it has that brother 25 year warranty. And then we can get into some of the accessories a little later on. Um, and it, Deb's going to show you all the different feet. <clears throat> Excuse me. But it has the, the zigzag foot, the J foot. It has that mon monogramming foot, the N. It has that overcasting foot, which is the G. Zipper foot, which is the I. The blind stitch foot, which is an R. And then it has the button fitting foot, which is an M foot. The buttonhole foot, A. And the embroidery foot, Q. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, so, it, and again, it has the needle set, the twin needle, uh, the bobbin. You're getting four with it. You get the seam ripper. You get the scissors, the cleaning brush, the eyelet punch, a screwdriver. You get two of those. You get a large one and a small one. You're getting the bobbin center pin and the instruction sheet, the disc-shaped screwdriver. You're getting horizontal spool pin, spool caps. You're getting the large, medium, and small, and the thread spool insert, the spool net, Hey, you know, I, I'm going to tell you all about the spool net. I didn't know what a spool net was for a long time. <laughs> I would always see these spool nets in the machines, and I'm like, why is that? What is that? What is this little net? And one day I was like, Deb, what does that net do? I don't even know if some of y'all may get those in your machines and not even what they are, but they're, they're to put on your spools to keep it from unraveling if you're having certain projects are going. So I never knew that before, and, and I'd always see that, and I was like, what is that? But uh, that's so funny that I didn't know that for all these years. But uh, anyways, we got Deb going now. Yeah. All right, so Just let's go to Deb, and we're going to go the embroidery functions first. So, Deb, welcome to the show. Y'all say hi to Deb and hi to Roger, and I think they're ready to go now. Hi, everybody. <laughs> there we go. We got you. All right, Deb, we're going to let you take it away. Okay. Here we go. Little, What's a Thursday morning without a little bit of a glitch going on? So... Just a second, Roger's got it. We got an echo in here. I'm driving so myself crazy. We'll turn it off. Go ahead, Deb. Sorry, Sorry about that, folks. I don't mind hearing myself once, but hearing myself repeated right back to myself was a little bit more than I could handle this morning. So um, as we were fiddling around the mics, I really didn't see hear what Blaine had to tell you about the special for the Brother SE 1900. But I can tell you whatever it is, it's going to be worth it because this is a fabulous machine, no matter what kind of price plane has put on it. Even at its regular price, you get so much bang for the buck in the SE 1900. I think you're going to be surprised as to everything that it, this little machine can really do. I'm going to give Lee quickly around the machine here. I have, um, I've got the lid closed right now. But up here, I've got the ability. I've got my threading mechanism. I've got a bobbin winder right here. And I always like that on the brothers, my threading paths are always marked really nicely for me. I have a solid line for threading the machine and I have a dotted line to show me how to thread the bobbin. So even if it's been a little while or you're switching back and forth by, between machines quite often, you still know exactly how it is that you need to thread this. And then speaking of threading, we have the wonderful, amazing, a needle threader that you will find on machines that cost at least three times as much as this one. I'm going to go around behind it here and Roger's gonna zoom in and I don't even have to be sitting down to thread the machine, hopefully. Did it thread? Huh. It's that morning. Don't you love those mornings? Okay. One, two, three, four. Can you see Roger? Mm-hmm. There we go. 
So my lesson for the day is I cannot do it standing up from the back side of the machine, I guess. <laughs> so that amazing needle threader, it doesn't care how stressed I am. If I have a don't have a needle threader at all, then I'll be honest, I call my daughter to come in and thread the needles for me. It's worth the grief because she's so much quicker than I am that even though I hear about it for the next 24 hours, at least I got sewing 20 minutes sooner. And then there's also the ones that pull down and kind of rotate in, and I call those the stress test needle threaders. How big the loop is, is how relaxed I am. The smaller the loop gets, the tenser I get. And if it's not pulling a loop through at all, I need a break and it's time to come back. This needle threader does not care that I can't see the eye of the needle and it does not care how stressed I was. Apparently it does care that I'm sitting down in front of the machine this morning though. So you will find a needle threader like that on machines that cost three or four times as much as this one, but you've got it right here on the SC1900. And for an embroidery machine, that needle threader is pretty much required because you will be switching threads back and forth on a regular basis. So an easy threader is an absolute must. This machine comes with a five by seven embroidery hoop. I have one hooped up right here. The five by seven hoop comes with it. A five by seven is a really good size. Even though I have multiple machines at my house, I do go back to that five by seven hoop quite often. It's a good size for some of those smaller projects um, that household type things, you know, you don't always need the biggest and baddest hoop in your the, to do what you need to get done. So I do use my five by seven quite a lot. Personally, I think the four by fours are a little bit small, but you can do a whole lot in this five by seven hoop. So that means it doesn't matter if you are a beginner just getting started, the five by seven hoop is gonna let you stay in this machine and be happy for quite a while. But also if you are a more advanced embroiderer looking for a, a travel machine, something to take to classes and a camper um, on the road with you to the cottage, then this is gonna be a great choice for that too because it's a very, really a durable machine that's gonna hold up no matter what you wanna do with it. So with that being said, I'm going to come over here and show you this amazing screen. I'll show you the screensaver when it comes on after I switch over, but the resolution on this screen is absolutely amazing. There are 134 built-in embroidery designs. Sorry, 138. There are seven fonts that are in English. And then we have these things called frames, which are really underappreciated, but we're going to play with them a little bit today. If I go into the embroidery. You can see I have pages and pages of different embroidery designs that are built into the machine. And if I just hit the arrow below, I can page my way through all of them. But I'm actually going to go back to that butterfly on the first page. And I'm going to hit the set button or I'm going to hit the. And now you can see it in the preview window. So it's a little bit bigger. If I switch over to this one, then that's in the preview window window. What you're seeing up here is the machine being helpful to me. It is telling me that this butterfly will not fit in the smallest hoop available for this machine, but it will fit in the four by four or the five by seven hoop. So you can know what size hoop you are can stitch this out in right here before you even set the design. You can know how big the design is and what hoops it will fit in. But now I am happy. So I'm going to hit set on that. And now I've come over to my editing screen. All of the basic functions that you think should be here. You can move the design. You can size it. We can rotate it. I can even change the colors on it if I wanted to. If I didn't want a purple butterfly, I can make that butterfly red instead. And hit the OK button. And now he's turned red in my screen. Or I can take him back to purple, what I think he was. I also have more than these pages right here. If I hit these buttons down at the bottom again, you can see I can page through and get lots of colors. Honestly, I don't obsess about getting the right, the absolute right color. I just use it as a guideline so that I make sure that the pink parts of the flower stay pink and the purple parts of the flower stay purple if I wanna recolor things. And if I don't wanna change the butterfly, if I wanna change one of the flowers, then I can just kind of, go through the different parts of the designs right here, change whatever colors I want to. And when you hit the OK button at the bottom, those changes have come over here and they're set in the screen for you. 
it really makes it easy because you can see what it is that you're trying to do. You can see the colors that you're going to stitch out so you can make sure that they're what you want to see. Now, speaking of seeing, I've got a, a pretty good sized view of it on here, but bigger is always better. I have this handy dandy picture of the hoop right here. And if I hit that hoop picture, I get a really full size view that's as big as the machine can show me in one screen of what my butterfly is gonna look like when I stitch it out. And if I go over here and touch this, that shows me how it's gonna fit inside my five by seven hoop. So it's really easy to figure out how big things are, where they're gonna go, and if you like what they look like. If that wasn't big enough, then there is bigger yet. This, uh, I have a magnifying glass right here. If I touch that magnifying glass, I'm at 100% right now. I can go up to 300% uh, on the screen. So if you really want to see something very specifically, you can use a little arrows to get to a very specific point on your design and make sure that it's the color you want, the spacing you want, the shape that you want. And then when you're done, you can just okay back out of that screen and you're back to the 100% size. I'm kind of all about the spacing and the fine details when it comes to my embroidery. So I use those zoom functions all the time. If that butterfly wasn't what you wanted, I do have a delete button here and I can take that off my screen. But I'm gonna use the add button because we're gonna add a couple more things to this butterfly this morning. The add button takes me right back to the beginning screen again. So I am going to show you that I can add lettering to this. So I hit the lettering button. I'm going to pick the script font because I think it's pretty. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go back. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm gonna stay here. And I am just gonna type in my name. I've got capitals and lower cases on this tab, special characters over here. So I'm just gonna do, there's my D. I'm gonna arrow over until I get to my E and arrow back to get to my B. B. And then just to show you, I can, I'm going to go all the way to the end. I have a space key right here. So you don't have to be limited to one word at a time. You can get multiple words that are all going to be spaced together the right way. So now I'm going to go back and catch S E. Oh, sorry, Deb. W. Ah, see, the machine is smart. The machine knows that when I do this in the large size font, it is too big to fit five inches across. So it wants to rotate at 90 degrees so I can still do what I want to do. So I say, okay. And then I'm going to put my, let me delete back because it looks like I didn't get my space in there. So there's my S E W. I'm going to delete, 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 go put that space back in because it looks like I didn't actually get it. That's what I get for trying to work my glasses off, guys. I need to just leave my glasses on at all times. S E W S. Okay, there's my Deb Sews. If I look at it, I really like that I can tell how big it's going to be. It's going to come out at 3.15 by 6.79 inches. So I know how big it's going to be in my hoop. It's going to be in the large size because I didn't change it. And remember, it rotated 90 degrees for me so that I could see, get it still get it in the hoop. Kind of plastered itself right on top of the butterfly there. So if I hit the move button, you can see that I've got red boxes all the way around Deb. So I'm gonna move Deb sews up to the very top of the screen. My butterfly is still hanging out there, but I can hit the select button here. And I like it because it's gonna put red boxes around everything that I have in the design. It's just gonna go right through every element of the design. Sometimes you have things that are overlapping and it's impossible to grab them. So I can take my butterfly. I can move him to the left a little bit. I can rotate him. 90 degrees and now I've tucked him right in underneath there. So I can take that design and take it to stitch. But what I really like 
is that I've got some fun advanced editing tools for the fonts on here. So if I highlight Deb Sews again and then hit font edit, if I didn't like that script font, I don't have to delete it and type it back in again. I can click on these three little A's and I can see what it looks like in that font or in that font or one of the other fonts. So you, I love that I don't have to delete. There's seven fonts built into the machine. Well, seven English fonts. There's also four fonts that are Cyrillic and, and Japanese. But I love that I don't have to delete something to, if I don't like the way it looks. My daughter's name is Caitlin. Those K's and Y's can sometimes look a little bit crazy. So, and seven fonts is really enough. Um, if you give me too many choices, I'm gonna spend too much time making too many choices. So I like that I have seven fonts that are built into the machine. One of them is always good enough for what it is that I wanted to do. So let me hit okay there. I can do a bunch of other fun things too including this little ABC thing right here. See my little knife there, Roger? Little yeah. itty bitty knife. So I can move the knife and wherever I move the knife to, once I hit cut, it is going to cut my design into two pieces. So hey, now Deb. Deb. I, have a, I have an idea. Okay. Um, to make this better because I'm shaking a lot, uh, let's, Kennedy, if you could go to the other camera and Deb could use my phone as a microphone and just have both cameras on there, I could get a better shot of the screen for everybody. So. All right. So you can so just place I'm it right going to watch for Kennedy to switch it over. Yeah, and then I can zoom in. Okay, so Kennedy has switched. There we go. Okay. There we go. Sorry, everybody. I was shaking a lot for you. We are being creative this morning. There you go. <laughs> but what I do have is I was able to split Deb apart from Sews without having to do anything, uh, without having to delete, without having to re-add thing, without having to do anything else. So if I, let me just, you can do so many things with those font choices. Um, there's a lot, if you just get creative with it, you can do so many things. My daughter's name is Caitlin, so her initials are going to be Caitlin, Donovan, Michelle. So if I set that in there, there's my KDM for Caitlin, Donovan, Michelle. Caitlin, Michelle, Donovan, actually. So if I grab that and I go to font edit, grab that knife tool, I'm going to cut it there. I'm going to cut it there so everything is separate, right? All my pieces are separate from each other. I could take my M, move it to the right. I can take my K, move it to the left. And then I can go in there and grab my D and I can take that D and make it bigger so that I can get a regular looking, oh, it's already in. Okay, wrong one. I actually have to take my K and make it smaller. I forgot I was on the largest font size already. So look at that, I just made a monogram a three letter monogram and I didn't even leave the machine at all. I did it all right here on the machine. The fun thing that we're gonna do though today is show you another part that we rarely ever use on the machine. So I'm going to come and grab a, uh, I have a little holly leaf here, little Christmas decoration. So I picked it because it was little. It's about two inches square. You can't see it very well, but I can zoom it in for you and even more in. So what I have right here is uh, just, just a little decoration that was built in the machine. It's very cute on its own. And when you stitch it out, it's going to look like this. I put it on a napkin corner. So when you stitch it out on a napkin, it's gonna look like this, which I think is really cute. However, this frames function, we never use to its full capability. And I'm gonna show you how to use that on the SE 1900. I have 10 built-in frame shapes. I'm going to pick the circle. And each one of those 10 built-in frame shapes has 14 um, line styles associated with it. So I can grab a line style and put it around the outside of it and hit the set button. If I need to, I can size it 
because it's always going to come in at one size so I can make it whatever size I need it to be. I can hit the OK button and then if you look at it, let me just zoom in a little bit for you too much. You can see that now my little leaf has been outlined by a perfect circle of decorative stitches. And if I take that over and stitch it out, what I end up with instead is this, which I think is actually, it's, uh, it's better because it's got the extra detail on there. So you can have one or you can have the other and they're both built into your machine if you just use the frames the way that brother expects, you know, gave us the opportunity to use the frames. So you've got a couple of great options back there. I still have stabilizer back there, which is why it's a little bit wrinkly, but I mean, frames are amazing. You can do so many things with the frames on the SE 1900 and it'll still keep going and doing more. The other thing I can do with the frames is let me delete and get out of here. You can actually turn one into a patch. I took this little robot. Uh, oh, almost. This little robot right here that I thought was cute. He's very, he's uh, kind of, he's a good size. He's like two and a half by two and a half inches squared. And he's really cute. But I don't think anybody ever wanted to stitch him out or thought that they would be able to stitch him out on this striped fabric. Super cute fabric, but I would stay away from it because it's striped and because it's dark and it's gonna be challenging to me for me to find thread colors that I'm still gonna be able to see with it. Well, if I use those frames and go back and hit the add button, um, I'm gonna use this one. And then I have right here a satin outline and I have over here a run stitch. And anybody who's done applique, your placement stitch, your tack down stitch are right there in that run stitch. And then here's your satin stitch around the edge. So what I did is I cheated. I didn't cheat, but what I'm gonna do is I finished him off so I had all the sizing right. I'm gonna delete and delete. I know usually I stitch for you guys, but Today I'm doing show and tell instead. So what I, oh, I thought I saved it. I didn't save it, okay. But what I did is I used those frame options and I put them in the right order and I put my little robot in there and I was able to stitch that little robot out on this bold striped fabric without having to leave the machine again. I've got two outline stitches under there which I used to tack down the white fabric and get it in place and trim it and then a satin stitch around the outside of it and i think that that looks that's a lot cuter than a lot of other things that i could have tried and again i didn't have to leave the machine those frames are so valuable for us to have on the se 1900 so and since we are the smp nation oh come on let me set that again i'm gonna delete him I've got these different fonts, right? So I have, I can do S, M, P, enter that in, and then I can add, let's do that script that I like so much, nation, a, I'm wrong-handed here. It takes me a little bit longer to find something. There's Nation, and here is my explanation point. Oh, I made that smaller. So let's go into edit and make size and make that bigger. Oh, it won't want, doesn't want me to make it bigger. I'll make it as big as I can. So right there, we have SMB Nation. Take a frame, put it around it, turn that into an applique, and you can put it really any place that you would like to. So that's just a little bit. I mean, this embroidery machine is a really good quality embroidery machine. It has lots of different features in it, lots of different functions. 650 stitches a minute, that amazing needle threader. It is 
a great embroidery machine for what it is. And this is one of those machines that if I need just something small to take home and get something done, I grab the SE 1900 because I know it's going to get the job done for me. And I know I can get it honestly home and back again. Um, I have borrowed machines before that it's taken my, me and my husband to get it into the house. But this one I can carry into the house all on my own and not have to bother anybody because it's 22 pounds. So it's very easy to carry around. Um, I think I've done a pretty good job with the embroidery. If there's, I'm sure there'll be some questions which we can answer later, but uh, Blaine, let me send it back to you so that I can switch over for sewing. All right, Deb, well, thank you. And guys, again, uh, Deb's showing some of the features that we normally don't talk about on the machine and, and it does so many things and it has so many things built in, but. We're going to talk a little bit about the embroidery side of it again and, and kennedy's putting that overlay so y'all take a look remember today and today i think we're going to do this special all the way through saturday at 4 p.m uh is it saturday kyle or friday this promo will be friday friday okay so friday at 6 p.m pacific time this promo goes off and the bundle package goes off so you can get this bundle for 99 cents with the purchase of the machine till 6 p.m. on Friday. So y'all remember that. Again, you're getting the exquisite thread that comes in that bag. Uh, that's that Riley Blake bag. And that thread, what we did is we picked the 15 most popular colors in the, the exquisite thread. Guys, if y'all have never used that thread before, it is such a good quality thread. has really good shine to it. It really, uh, people just love it to use it for embroidery. Uh, that bag, there's that's one of three. They all have different sayings. The one you're seeing on the screen says so big or go home. There's a, two more that have the little, you know, unique sayings on them like that. And then we're also throwing in that medium size Sewing Machines Plus uh, sewing mat in the Brother Blue uh, is going to go in that bundle as well. So this is a, a Kyle, you said $150 value. You're getting it for 99 cents through tomorrow, Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific time, and the bundle package goes off. So you can get it until then. And again, guys, this thing, if y'all didn't hear Deb, it has a five by seven uh, hoop size that you can embroidery, embroidery filled on it. And you're going to get that one five by seven hoop in there. Now, there are other hoops you can purchase to go with this machine. You know, Durkee has some that'll fit. Uh, you know, Brother has some that'll fit. So there are other uh, you know, options to get different sizes of ho hoops that go smaller if you want to go smaller hoops. But the, the largest embroidery area on this is that five by seven. And again, guys, it has those 138 built-in designs uh, that you can do. It has that USB port. So this is not wireless, but you can just easily transmit, you know, transport your machines right to, I mean, your designs right to the machine. You know, you can just put a USB drive. If you got a computer or laptop with your designs in it, you can export them right onto that USB drive, plug it right in the machines and transfer your designs that way. It's e really extremely easy to do that. And uh, so anyway, and then you can also go to I am Broadery on Brother and download thousands of designs uh, for absolutely free that will actually work on this machine. So that's the great thing about uh, Brother. When you buy their products, you're getting access to the I Embroidery to be able to purchase some designs and get designs for free. So uh, really good. And they're all licensed designs, you know, so that's the really, uh, you know, great thing about that. So, and you will have access to use them. And it has those seven Embroidery fonts. And I think, you know, somebody was asking, can you use a different font on the same line? Yes, you can. Each, if you wanted to spell out, you know, your name and use a different font for every letter, you could do that if you want to. So, uh, so many different things. Now we're going to get on to the sewing side of the house and then we can talk a little bit about some of the sewing things when Deb, she's, I'm sure she's going to talk about, she's going to show you all the feet that come with it. Uh, you know, this thing will also do free motion so you can do quilting on it. So there's a lot of great features built into this. So let's, uh, you know, if Deb is ready, we're going to go back to Deb. So Deb, I think you're ready to go. So Deb, take it away and let's show them all the sewing side of this. I am ready to go. Roger, however, is frantically, weak. I lost my piece of black fabric. <laughs> so Roger has brought me lots of colorful fabric that was on the table. We're not sure where that black piece of fabric went. So I've switched it over. You can see that I was, I took the embroidery arm off and now I have the free arm accessory tray on here. 
if I take that off, I do get a full free arm, which is great if you're hemming pants or putting in sleeves or something on garments. But I like to have it on just because it gives me a larger flat sewing surface. Actually, even last night, I was using the ruler that's on, on the accessory box because I needed to measure something really quick and it was easier to grab this than it was to go walk across the room and find wherever it was that I had dropped my tape measure. You have 240 built-in sewing stitches on the Brother SC 1900, and they will stitch up to 850 stitches a minute. So you can go sew at a pretty good clip with this machine. Right now, I have it set to center stitching, so it's going to stitch right down the center of the needle. I like that the, the screen tells me what I need to know. So what I have right here is it's telling me that the needle's going to stop down in the fabric. It's recommending that I use the J foot. It's got my tension set for me and it's got my stitch length and my stitch width setting right here for me. Everything I need to know, I can see right here on this screen. If I wanted to get to some of the other stitches in the utility stitches, I can arrow to the right, get into my zigzags and some other garment sewing stitches. But if I want to get to the rest of the stitches, I have more than that. If I hit the stitch mode button down here, then if I pop that button, now look at all of these different categories of decorative and utility stitches that I have available to me. I've got blanket stitches and I have heirloom stitches and satin stitches. Here's my buttonholes. If you don't know what this is, this is sideways sewing. The SC 1900 will sew sideways for you. If you've ever had two seams that don't quite line up when you're piecing or and you want to stitch in the ditch, you can use this feature so that you don't have to turn your quilt 90 degrees or you don't have to kind of jog across. You just sew and then sideways sew for a second and then sew right back down. Um, lots of fun, great decorative stitches in here. I even have, there we go. I have five built-in sewing alphabets. Sewing alphabets are different than the embroidery alphabets because I can't resize them at all. And they're always going to have a little line attaching themselves to each of the letters to each other at the bottom. So between the seven embroidery fonts and the five sewing fonts, you've got 12 English fonts to choose from on the SC 1900. Let me just go back. And then what I have here is my custom stitch designer. Now that's a whole 30 minutes on its own, but if you have a favorite decorative stitch on another machine that you've always loved over the years, you can make it on here. It's you're making your own dot to dot. If you can take and make a continuous line drawing of a sewing machine or whatever you can think of, sewing machines are stuck on my mind, uh, you can make that into a custom decorative stitch that is all your own that nobody else is going to have. You can also take those stitches and combine them together. So with the five alphabets, you can go in there and put in your name. You could, you could put in there Deb Space Sews and have it stitch Deb Sews and stop at the end of it. But if you wanted to be fancier than that, then you could even go in and pick some of the decorative stitches and, and have those stitch out first and then have Deb so stitch out. So there's so many things that you can do with the decorative stitches on here. We do not use decorative stitches as much as we probably should. We, it's a really quick way to elevate the look of just about anything. It's actually become one of my favorite ways instead of just flat out top stitching down a zipper. When I'm doing a zipper bag, I like to do a decorative stitch on it now because it just makes it that much nicer and it doesn't take a whole lot more time. Let me go and pick my stitch. And then I'm going to go back home again. Home. It doesn't like the stylus down there. So we're gonna go into one and we're gonna go back to that center stitch. So I show you guys my little denim test all the time and just because I, so I can say I did, I'm going to do it again. I have a piece of denim here, but I'm going to sew it and we're going to pretend that I cut them in half first.
Now, I can hit the scissors that are right here. And it has just cut the thread for me. So I don't have to pull it to the side or deal with anything that's not stitching out right. So now it looks like it's two pieces of fabric from the outside. So this is the hem on my jeans. And since jeans seem to be getting longer or I seem to be getting shorter, I can fold, cut them down, roll them over. So now I've got a finished edge on the inside as well as a good hem on the outside. And I'm gonna get you in your, in your way for just a minute here, Roger, in a second. So I've got three layers of fabric right here. And as I'm coming up, I'm coming up to nine layers of fabric right there. You can see the presser foot starting to lift up because I've got nine layers of fabric right there. If your sewing machine tries to climb that hill, it's to give you consistent stitches all the way around. So I actually have a leveling feature on the standard foot that comes with this machine. It's a little magic black button over here to the side. And when you press it in, and it catches, then what I can do is slide my fabric back there. The foot is actually floating so that you can push your way across those top layers of fabric. It'll pop back out when you're finished. And can you hear how quiet the machine is as I'm doing this? I'm pretty much at full speed. I've got it, the speed all the way up and my foot's all the way down. So I just hemmed my jeans without really having to think about it. So now those jeans, you can see that, I don't know that you can see, but I can see that the stitching on the back is that all these stitches are pretty much the same size where I went from three layers to nine, where I did that transition at the nine layer point and back to three. All those stitches have a consistent stitch length. On a machine that doesn't have as much feeding power, what you'll find is that you get teeny tiny stitches as the machine has to work harder because the feed dogs can't do what they need to do. But on the SE 1900, the feed dogs can do what they need to do. So you can hem jeans just as easily as you can do that embroidery. And it's got all the garment sewing stitches that are in there. So you are good to go when it comes to any of that type stuff. The SE 1900 comes with, it comes with a good amount of accessories. You get nine, sorry, you get seven feet with it. What I have right here is, here is my standard zigzag foot with that magic black button on it. A zipper foot, it's got two sides, so you can use it left-handed or right-handed, whatever ends up being the right thing for you or your project. A monogramming foot, um, on the bottom of it, it's got a special little groove, so all those decorative stitches end up looking really good. Here's the built-in, the buttonhole foot for the one-step buttonholes. Blind hem foot, which you can also use for doing some stitch in the ditch an overcasting foot if you wanted to use some of those garment sewing stitches that are on here, a button sewing on foot. I didn't think I was gonna use a button sewing on foot and honestly I didn't for a long time, but the truth is is that it's faster for me to sew on buttons using this foot than it is for me to sew them on by hand. This is the ankle that I'm gonna use to attach all these feet to because they're all just snap on feet. So it's very easy to switch back and forth between the feet. I've got my embroidery foot right here. And then I, something that really impressed me about this machine is it comes with a second bobbin case. High-end embroidery machines come with multiple bobbin cases because sometimes when you're doing embroidery, you need some tighter tension in the bottom to make sure your bobbin thread doesn't come up. Well, they gave you a bobbin case that already has that higher tension on it with the machine. So instead of adjusting the tension on your primary bobbin case and hoping it, you can get it back to where it was, you can just switch out the bobbin case for the embroidery bobbin case and you don't have to grab your screwdriver or do anything to do it. It's so simple and that's, this is something that used to only come on machines that cost, you know, more than $4,000. And they gave it to us on the SE 1900 because this machine will do just about anything. You also do get some extra accessories with it, double spool pins and that kind of thing. And you've got a knee lift on the SE 1900 as well, which I'm not accustomed to seeing kind of at this price point. And that knee lift is gonna go right into this hole right here. 
So if I pull the machine forward, move my portable microphone, I'm going to need to come forward just a little bit more. This is going to knock into this hole right here. And this is not a knee drive. I'm still going to use my foot pedal. But if I put my knee on this and you watch the presser foot, when I somehow I got into embroidery mode, that was fun. There we go. So it's going to lift and lower the presser foot for me. All I have to do is take my knee and press it to the right. And up goes that presser foot to where I know, you've got a couple of stages where you can have it go. I love it because it lets me keep both hands on the fabric. So if I'm going to go and stitch my seam again right here. Sorry, I'm going to have to scooch in a little bit so I can hit it. If I need to adjust anything, there you go. Both my hands have stayed on the fabric. Up the presser foot goes. I can change my angle or do whatever it was that I needed to do. Get a bubble out. Do whatever I needed to do. Oop, right there. So that's why I need a knee lift because it lets me have more control. So I get to keep two hands on the fabric at all times. So now, as I was playing around last night, um, I actually stitched out SMP Nation. It's got water soluble stabilizer on the back of it, which I haven't rinsed out yet. But I have got SMP Nation. I put a little zipper in here. I've got a lining I already attached because it. I'm just gonna sew a little zipper bag together with it. Zippers used to be one of those things that I hated, hated, hated to do. But on the SC 1900, you've got the zipper foot, um, which you can use for a lot of things, cording and piping and some other things. To switch the foot is so very easy. With the presser foot up, there's a little black button back here. All I have to do is press it, and my foot came off. So now I'm just going to go put my other foot on. There we go. That's the wrong side. I couldn't see what I was doing. So now I've got my zipper foot on. I've got two sides, so I can work from the left or from the right with it. And using, if I go in, I can change the position of the, need, of the, of the needle so I can get it where I want it relative to the edge of the foot. I adjust this all the time when I'm doing needles, when I'm doing zippers. And so then you're just gonna take your fabric, put it up and under the foot, Get, the, get your alignment, make sure you're not sewing over your zipper. And sewing a zipper in is just as easy as that. You do have to get it lined up and there's some pinning. I already did that part ahead of time. But that's all it takes for you to be able to sew in a zipper. Super fast and easy. And then when you open it, you're gonna have a nice good spacing for your zipper. If I go then back again, to my regular foot right here i am see that i don't have a black around the width that's because that's not on default so i can very easily see that these stitches are uh, these parts of the stitch the width and the tension and the left right shift are all at standard settings but my needle is not in the standard setting for a centered straight stitch it's actually a little bit to the left so if i just hit that button until they turn black now I know that I am back to the original settings for that. I don't have to guess. I don't have to look for any italics or anything. It goes to black, uh, black background when it's all set so that you know exactly where you need to be. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but it's, it is actually going to go in here and change the tension for me too. I do not have a tension dial up here. That's because the machine is going to change that tension for me as I go and pick my different stitches. Satin stitches usually want to have a different tension than straight stitches. And you don't have to guess. The machine is going to do that adjustment for you. You do have complete control. If you need to, you can go in here and tweak it. But you are not going to have to go look up in the book 
what the tension is recommended to be if you want to choose a different stitch. When you choose the stitch, the SE1900 makes all those adjustments for you. The length, the width, the tension, it's going to adjust all of those for you. You can tweak them from there, but it's going to do all the heavy lifting for you when it comes to that. So, so many great features on this. I mean, you've got all the basic garment sewing feet that you would want. If you want to mother feet, there's a ton of extra feet that are going to let you specialize, but you've got all of the basic feet right here for most of the things that most people are going to want to do. Personally, if it was me, I maybe would add a quarter inch foot on, but that would be the only thing. And that's only because I'm accustomed to a quarter inch foot. There actually is a stitch in here to let you do a quarter inch stitch with the regular J foot. So you don't even need that quarter inch foot. It's just something that a lot of us are accustomed to. Great stitching, great speed, high quality machine, easy to clean, easy to carry. You can do just about anything you want to with the machine, whether you are a beginner or whether you are somebody that's a little bit more advanced. So I think that I'm about out of time. So while Blaine is talking, um, I'm actually gonna finish my zipper pouch and maybe he'll let us come back to the, at the very, very end and I can show you the zipper pouch that I'm gonna finish off with the SD1900. I did, I did the embroidery, I did the zipper, I did the whole thing on the SD1900. So you can see that you can do a lot of really high level things on the SE1900. Here I've got some really good embroidery and I've got my zipper in. We did that patch, which we haven't really shown anybody how to do before. And even went in and used the frames to kind of zuzz up a design a little bit. And all of these things were built into the machine, not the SMP Nation, I built that's from outside. But these frames are right there inside the SE1900, and you can do so much with them um, that this machine's way more powerful than you think it is. And at 1049 with that free, uh, with the 99 cent bonus, I think that Blaine has given you guys a smoking deal. Um, were there any questions, Blaine? You know, Deb, I'm not sure if there were during the show, but if anybody's got any questions right now, go ahead and just put your questions in the chat. And uh, Kyle will be looking at the chat, and he'll we'll, we'll kind of relay them to Deb. So, hey, Deb, here's what we're going to do. I, I just had a I had an idea. Uh, everybody's loving that pouch. So why don't you go ahead and get it completed? We'll come back to you before we get off the show, and we're going to give that away to one of you out there, and we'll send it to you that Deb made. How's that? Everybody like that? Let me know if y'all like that idea, and we'll, we'll get that done. And uh, but Deb, we'll go back to her in just a little bit. Kyle's looking to see if there's any questions before we let Deb get sewing. Yes, I can answer that question. You can drop the feed dogs and do free motion quilting on this. So, guys, this is what's so great about this machine. It's such a versatile machine. You know, we think about a combo a lot of times. You just think about the sewing. You think about the embroidery. But what you forget sometimes is that you can do quilting, too. So you're going to be able to do quilting, embroidery, and sewing with this one machine. Extremely portable. It's a medium-sized machine, 22 pounds, extremely. So if you've got the higher-end machines, if y'all have got the you know, the big Solaris's, the Luminaires, the, the Icons, the, the Bernina 880s out there. You know, those are, are larger machines that are a little bit harder to transport. This is one of those machines that's going to give you some really high-end features in that machine that's extremely easy to transport. So at 20, 22 pounds, uh, it's not real big, so you can carry it around very easily. Uh, so, you know, I just tell everybody it's your travel machine. And so I think this would be a good uh, purchase for you. If you already got the high end and want the travel machine, this would be it. If you're right now, you're, you've been using a four by four, uh, you know, embroidery uh, machine and you're wanting to kind of get an upgrade, then that five by seven embroidery field is going to be great. Now, when I say five by seven, that means that is the maximum embroidery area that this machine does is a five by seven. Uh, so you're going to get the one frame, the five by seven frame that comes with it. But we do have optional frames on our website that you could buy that will fit this machine. We have the Durkee brand, and we also have other brother uh, branded, uh, you know, hoops that you can get if you wanted to get some smaller hoops and things that will fit this machine. So, again, guys, the SE1900, what a great uh, combo we have today. And Kennedy, I think she's going to put that on the screen again to remind you. Guys, today, this goes through all the way till Friday at close of business, which will be 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern time. This special goes off, but right now, if you purchase the machine, you're going to get that bonus bundle with it for 99 cents. And that is, you're going to get that medium size 
Sewing Machines Plus sewing mat that is in that brother blue color that'll match that machine perfectly, you're going to get the most popular 15 spools of exquisite thread, uh, which is great, great thread. And then that Riley Blake bag, you're going to get one of three. Uh, that one right now is the one you're seeing, but there's two other ones that have sayings just like that. You'll get that tote bag as well with it. And this is $150 retail value. You're going to get that bundle for 99 cents with purchase the machine today. And we also are offering uh, free shipping nationwide right to your doorstep. And we probably have some synchrony financing that Nick's team, or you know, if you need some financing help on that, they can probably help you out. So give them a call at 800-401-8151. Uh, you can go right to the website up in the, you know, smplive.tv. Uh, we have that machine on there. Just click on it. It'll take you right to the product page. If you're looking at the Sewing Machines Plus website right now, in the search bar, you can just type in SE1900. It'll take you to the same product page. Uh, you can check out right from that page and get the special on it today. Uh, if you have any questions while you're on the website, you can speak to one of the live chat agents. Uh, but if you have questions, you just want to give us a call, 800-401-8151. And again, guys, this special is going to go all the way through uh, close of business on Friday, uh, which will be 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern time. And then that special goes off. So Again, a great uh, special today from Brother. And guys, I hope you all enjoyed the demonstration that Deb gave because I thought that was a really good demonstration. And I love the fact that she showed us some things that we might normally even you know, show on that machine. And, and again, with the sideways sewing, dropping the feed dogs, you can do quilting with all the embroidery fonts and sewing fonts that are built in the machine. You're getting a pretty you know, powerful punch in a very medium-sized package with this. So again, guys... So right now we're going to go ahead and start giving some stuff away and then we're going to go back to Deb uh, right at the end of the show and let her show you that completed pouch and then we're going to give that pouch away. What do y'all think? Oh, Does that sound yeah, good? Yeah. All right. So the first thing we're going to do today, we're going to give away some of our tote bags. These are our event bags. They come in eight different colors. The price on our website are $9.99 each or $49.99 for the bundle of eight. All different colors. Each one has a unique saying on it. Uh, on one side, on the other side, it has our website and our phone number and our locations. Uh, so we love these bags. These are those kind of permanent uh, grocery bags that you see. And I know thousands of people out there use these to store their fabric in. <laughs> so I've yes. been told that many, many times. And uh, you know me, she color coordinates her outfits yeah. with That's whatever bag. That's the only bag. way to do it. The she, only way so to do when it. she was here in San Diego visiting, she had an orange bag to match her orange outfit. So it was pretty cool. So uh, yes. I wanted to say hi to you know me. I know that she's probably watching today. It was her birthday while you were gone. She had a birthday while she was gone. Had a birthday while you were gone. Well, happy happy uh, belated birthday to you know me. Sorry I missed it. And I and know I believe it's Ella Bly's birthday. Is it Ella Bly? I think it Ella. Well, happy Ella birthday Bly's to birthday. Ella Bly if it's your birthday today. And uh, and then you know we uh, I know uh, Vanika was watching yes. today too. She's one of my buddies that came to visit us at the store. And uh, Linda saying, I love the green bag. Love the bag, Ginger Israel. Uh, she loves them. And uh, so, all right, guys, we're going to give two sets of these away. And uh, we're going to get ready to spin that wheel. So, Kennedy, do you have that wheel ready to go? It is right here. I I'm hope ready. you are ready. Look for your names. All right, Kennedy, spin okay. that wheel. Judy Bauer. <laughs> Judy Bauer. She is our winner and Judy is watching from YouTube today. So congratulations, Judy. So Judy, go to smplive.tv. And when you go to that page, scroll down toward the bottom of that page, you'll see a, a little place that says, claim your prize, fill out the information, hit the submit button, and we'll handle it from there. All Please right. allow seven to 10 business days. <laughs> seven to ten business days for us to process the giveaways okay all right so that's not that's too slow we need to we need to speed things up a little bit all right i want my bags yes okay yes. all right yeah i knew we had a lot of stuff they were shipping out from so fast um all right so kennedy we're going to give another set of these bags away so spin that all wheel right. Judy. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna 
have to do that over Can't again. win twice, Judy. Judy. Sorry, Judy. We're going to spin again. All right. Spin again. <laughs> Judy Bauer. <laughs> Leola Simpson. Leola. She is our winner, Leola Simpson. And she's watching today from YouTube. So, Leola, we want you to go to smplive.tv. Scroll down toward the bottom of that page where you see Claim My Prize. Fill out that information. Hit the Submit button. And we will get that shipped out to you. As Kennedy said, I, we got to do quicker than 7 to 10 business days. We're going to say within 5 days we'll get it shipped out. We need to be able to get that out by next week. All right. So we had two of our bag winners. Next up, we are going to give away some of our SMP sew mats. And we got 12 of these colors to choose from. We have th four different sizes that you can choose from. So we're going to let you pick your size, your color. And if you want to see these guys, just go to smplive.tv, click on the sew mat, and it'll take you to the product page of all the sewing mats. That way you can look at the dimensions of each size and make sure you're getting the correct size for your machine. And that way you can look at the colors. But guys, if y'all do not own, I tell you this every show, if you do not own a sew mat yet, go ahead and purchase one. You are doing your machine a disservice by not having these. Not only, these things are extremely functional. They're going to reduce the vibration that the machine is transferring to the electronics. It reduces the noise. It also protects the surface you have your machine sitting on. So if you got those really expensive cabinets, uh, sewing cabinets you're sitting on, or if you're just sitting in on your, your dining room table and you don't want to scratch it up, that'll help. And then that fourth reason, it is it will not slip at all. That map does not move. Whatever surface you sit it on, it's stuck there and the machine grips it extremely well as, as too. Very easy to clean. Just take a damp cloth and wipe it down and uh, it'll let it air dry. It's extremely easy to take care of. So we are going to give uh, two people uh, one mat each. So Kennedy, you have that wheel ready to go? It is ready. All right, spin that wheel. All greased up and ready to go. <laughs> Rose Beauregard. Beauregard. So Rose Beauregard. Congratulations, she's watching from YouTube today. So Rose, we need you to go to smplive.tv, scroll down toward the bottom of that page and you'll see claim my prize, fill out the information, give us most importantly, the color and mat you want and the size you want, and we'll get that shipped out to you as soon as we receive your information. All right, Kennedy, spin that wheel again. We're gonna give another Got mat it. away. Elaine Wright. Elaine Wright. Congratulations, Elaine. Elaine is watching today from YouTube. So, Elaine, to claim your mat, you need to go to smplive.tv, scroll down toward the bottom of that page where you see Redeem My Prize, fill out that information, uh, give us, mo most importantly, the color and mat you want and that size, and hit Submit, and we'll handle it from there. All right. All right. So next up, we are going to award our winner from last week's yes. show. So I got to explain this to everybody so you'll understand. We give prizes away on the live show. Okay. So like today, we're going to give prizes away. But what we also do when the show ends today and these on Facebook and YouTube, it becomes like a video that you can just go watch. Underneath that video, you can actually make comments and write questions and things there. This winner, we're getting ready to announce the winner from last week. We pick it from those comments on Facebook and YouTube. So you have a secondary chance to win, but you get, you're get you not going to find out till the next week. So we'll announce the winner next week from this week's show. But make sure y'all go do that because it's a second chance giveaway. And it also helps if you're watching this show on a delayed basis, you had to work today and couldn't watch it live, you're still getting an opportunity to just make comments and things and uh, you get a chance to win. So uh, last week's winner, was good. we had a baby lock zest sewing machine that we gave away and that winner is from roll boom Krim McLaughlin Krim McLaughlin she was watching from Facebook uh, or last week and she made comments on the video and so congratulations Krim and we are going to uh, send you that machine so what we need you to do is just go to smplive.tv 
go down to claim my prize, fill out the information, hit submit. As soon as we receive your information, we'll get your machine sent out to you. That simple. All right. So this week, we what machine are we giving away this week, guys? Be a joy. Joy, yes. before we give that joy away, let's just give a gift card. What do you think? Okay. Okay. We're going to give a hundred dollar gift card to Soul Machine Plus. Now, guys, if you win this and you're local in Southern California, you can go into one of our two retail locations. We have one down in San Diego on Mission Bay uh, Boulevard, and then we also have uh, one at San Marcos, it's north, just right a little bit north of Escondido. And that store, you can go to either one of those super stores. They're huge stores, 10,000 square feet, big classrooms. You can go into that store and you can actually redeem it there. Or if you're nationwide, you can go in and just at checkout when you purchase something, you can actually put your code in and it'll knock $100 off your purchase. That simple. So, All right. Kennedy, you got the wheel ready? Ready. Spin that wheel. Angel Ball. So Angel Ball is watching today from Facebook. So congratulations, Angel. And Angel may be somebody new. I don't. I've never. I don't. I've think, seen her. A you've seen her times. before. Okay. Yeah. I've never seen that name before. So uh, um, congratulations, Angel. And so to claim your prize, Angel, that gift card, just go down. Go to smplive.tv down toward the bottom of the page where it says claim our prize. Just put your information in there. Hit submit. And once we get the information, we're going to email you back uh, your gift card and you can use it virtually. Uh, it'll be electronic. So you can basically get an electronic copy of it and go right into the website. Or if you're local, you can come into the source. All right. So next up, hey, we are going to give that baby lock joy away to one of you lucky viewers. So Kennedy, you got that wheel ready? Are we spinning or are we waiting until next week? No, this is okay. the spin. We get one spin and one spin. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's do it. Let me add this on here and let's spin the wheel. This is for the Baby Lock Joy sewing machine. Lisa Schwartz. Lisa Schwartz. Congratulations. So congratulations. I think it's Lisa, right? Lisa? Yeah. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. So Lisa Schwartz, congratulations. I hope you're getting your name right. Uh, she is watching today from Facebook. So you need to go down to smplive.tv and scroll down toward the bottom of the page where it says claim my prize, fill out the information, hit submit. As soon as we get your information, we'll get your machine shipped right to your doorstep. So that's awesome. So let's go back to Deb and see if Deb has got her little pouch made. Hey. All right, Deb, see. we're coming back to you. I hope you got that pouch all ready to go because I want to give that pouch away if she's got it done. Uh-oh. Nope. I know. All right, so the phone is muted. All right. We still can't hear anybody. But it is done. <laughs> so guys, it is done. She's still having microphone problems. And uh, so if if so if they can hear me, uh, what we need to do, keep my voice on and just go strictly to Deb on the screen and have Roger to zoom into that bag. We're gonna show that bag off. So Deb can if you can hear me, Deb. Just kind of follow my lead. So Deb, hold that bag up. This is the pouch that Deb just got finished sewing. She did every bit of this on the SE1900. Roger's gonna zoom in there for you so you can see the embroidery that she did. Now, if you could, Deb, kind of turn it to the back side of that where we can see the back of it. Y'all can see that, it's a great little pouch, great fabric. Now let's see the inside of that, that pouch. Y'all can see the inside of it there. And then also look at the fabric she used on the inside. And then it's got that nice zipper that she put in right in the very top. And you can zip it. 
So we are going to, great job, Deb. That thing looks fantastic. And so we're going to give that away and we're going to draw one of you lucky viewers to get that. So Kennedy, let's bring that wheel back up and All let's right. spin that wheel. And one of you are going to win that pouch that Deb made and we'll send it to you. Spinning. All right, here we go. Barb. Fry. Fry. I think it's pancrate krauts. Pancrats fry. Pancrats krauts. Barb, I don't know how to pronounce your your your. Uh, he I don't tried know. his best. I think that may be a maiden name. Not sure, but we're gonna say Barb Fry. Watch a day from Facebook, and uh, Barb, you just won that little cute pouch that Deb made, and we just go to claim your prize on that. Just go to smplive.tv. Scroll down toward the bottom of that page, fill out the information, hit submit, and then once we get that information, we'll get that uh, pouch all put in a box and shipped out to you, uh, right what? to your doorstep. So great job, Deb. That was a fantastic pouch. And uh, I'm sorry, guys, we lost audio on Deb and we've had a little issues this morning, but uh, hopefully we'll get all the, the bugs worked out and next week will be you know, really good. So uh, anyway, guys, we sure do appreciate your business with us. We sure do appreciate you joining our shows. And again, we're going to have Callista from uh, Wonderful Threads and Kennedy will be on tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And then Kennedy will be back on air Tuesday uh, next week uh, at 10 a.m. for Takeover Tuesday. Thursday of next week, we don't know what we're doing yet. I am not going to be here. I am going to actually be in Utah uh, next week and I will be visiting Handy Quilt Quilters Factory in Grace. So I'll be going to those. I'm going to be doing some videotaping and stuff from there. And we'll, the next show, when I come back, we'll, I'm going to talk, we'll go show you a little tour of their facility and talk to some of the people there. And you'll get to see some of that behind the scenes at some of the factory stuff, but we're going to do there. We've kind of, we were talking about maybe trying to do a live show from there, but uh, we may do that too Thursday. We may, I may try to come live from there, but we'll kind of play that by ear. Um, but I won't be able to do both factories on Thursday. I'll just only be able to do one. So we may have to videotape one and do one live. So we'll try to work it out this week. But I hope you all say, make sure you tune in Thursday because either I'll be doing that or Kennedy will be here doing something. And then I'll be on the next week. We'll do the tour, but we'll figure it out. And uh, we'll try to have you great content. But anyway, guys, thank you all so much. And make sure you share this with your friends and tell them about it. And let's keep building this SMP nation. And again, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube page, Go subscribe before the you know you get off today. If you haven't liked the Facebook page, go do that. And uh, and also Kennedy has started a uh, SMP Live SMP Facebook Nation. group or SMP Nation uh, Facebook group. Yes. And how can they get to that, Kennedy? So you can go to our Facebook, and we've got a group all attached, and you can just request to join. And everybody's already getting started on it so fast. They're all posting all their projects and new machines that they're getting. So it's just a great way to have a little bit of community going on and we can all stay up to date and everything. And also a lot of people have been posting updates from Florida as well. So we really hope everybody's staying safe. But I mentioned yesterday, I did a little post that at hundred members, we are going to be doing something exciting and we're at 99. So <laughs> <laughs> make sure you guys go join the group. It's right on our Facebook page. And that way you'll have a chance to be in on some exciting things. I'm Blaine. Well, you know what, Kennedy, since if we're at 99, we need to be 100. As soon as we get to that 100th person, I'm going to throw a $100 gift card that you can give away oh, for your group. Say uh, so uh, you can go give away on the group. And we'll have to All give right. you a trivia question to be able to win it. So we're going to give okay. you a trivia question uh, on the group page. It's going to have to be something dealing with SMP. If you've been keeping up with SMP for a while, it'll we'll, be something like what's Blaine's favorite candy bar. You never know. What's we're, his favorite? We're going to come up with something. We're going to throw a hundred dollar gift card in there since as soon as we hit one hundred. So y'all go out and join that group you haven't done yet. It's a great place for y'all to share ideas and things and projects and and uh, we can always be talking and communicate with you. So guys, we hope that you have a great rest of your week. We hope that everybody in Florida is, is safe and sound and. And again, guys, we will see y'all on Friday tomorrow with Calista here. Kennedy will be there. And uh, and then next week we'll have some other shows. So, guys, thank y'all so much for joining. Don't forget about the SE1900. If you want to get one of those, it's all the way. This bundle package for $0.99 cents goes all the way till Friday.
close of business, which is 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern, and then that goes away. So guys, thank y'all so much, and we will see y'all again next week. Y'all have a great rest of your week.